So the plan here is to wax this box up with carnival wax, and then I'm going to place the pencils inside of it and hold them all together using epoxy resin. Also, I've never built a guitar before, so we'll see how this goes. Looks pretty good. This little rig I just put together real quick, but it's essentially a makeshift milling machine using a router, and it's gonna help me take an eighth of an inch or so off each side of that slab. So the router just rides on these two pieces of wood, and I can move it around to cover the entire slab. I'm not really doing a good job explaining it, but I'll just show it in action, and it should make more sense hopefully. Alright, so now thanks to that router jig and a little bit of sanding, I have an almost perfect slab of colored pencils and epoxy. I tried filling in the pinholes with wood filler and it sort of worked, but it's probably something I'm going to have to go back and do again later uh, when the shape of the body is coming into form. The plan now is to drill out holes around the outline, then I'll come through with the jigsaw and connect the dots. Uh, it'd be a lot easier if I had a table saw, but I don't. So. Just gotta get creative. So if you're not familiar with what I was just doing there, uh, I had a template on top of this and the router bit follows the template, giving me as close to perfect of a body shape as I'm going to be able to get. But uh, that huge router bit does make me a little bit nervous. Anyways, next up, I'm going to route the body cavities, neck pocket, and give the whole thing a round over. Okay. Up next is carving in the arm and belly contours. Did have one minor accident rounding out the neck pocket. I had some tear out here that I'll have to fix up later. So check this out. Uh, I started by sanding this entire block with 80 grit and then progressively sanding the left side up to 360 grit, I think it was. Uh, and this was all done with the belt sander. I tried it with the palm sander and all that did was smear the colors. Uh, by hand was a little bit better, but still not great. So, I mean, ideally, I would like to sand this up to about 800 grit or so before painting it, but I think I may only be able to get to around 220 or so uh, before it starts to smear. I've been experimenting with different things to see what would work, but I just wanted to show you guys the basis of the issue here. In the end, I'd rather have clean colors and some scratches than a perfectly smooth surface. And besides, I should be able to get it pretty smooth after the clear coat anyways.
I'm using this two-part spray enamel. Uh, really nasty stuff though, so you gotta wear an organic vapors respirator at minimum. I'm gonna try to dump this whole can onto it, probably in about four or five coats. It's all done, uh, and I'm happy with the way it turned out. It's definitely not perfect. Uh, I wasn't able to buff it out as much as I would have liked to. I could see that I was about to burn through the gloss coat in a few areas, uh, but I stopped before really any damage was done, and I would have had to go back and repaint it. Uh, left the back plate off just to show more of the colored pencils. As far as the neck, I mean, this thing probably deserves a nice lacquered maple neck just in terms of aesthetics alone. But all I had on hand was this rosewood squire neck, uh, which I actually don't mind. The finish feels pretty good to me, and I, I like the playability of it. But somewhere down the road, I'll probably get a new neck for this. Uh, but for now, I want to plug it in, give it a shot.